It is Fitzy and Weber with Kate Ritchie for your Friday podcast. Huge, huge dilemma that women are going through at the moment. Do they support Harry Styles with his buzz cut or not? Mm. Well, Whether to not, shave or not. It's not only the women, Fitz. I mean, mm-hmm. women and men alike. They're all big fans of Hazza, yeah. aren't they? And I'm sure they'll be weighing into such a big... Um, you, you know, like international it. topic. I love the. Ball I, ball shave I love. I love the shaved head. No, don't you do it. I love oh, shaved heads. Have yeah. always loved shaved shaved heads, and have you know had a few shaved. Why heads Why shouldn't I? Would it be time. too much to sit next to in the studio? Well, I don't know. Would you get a bit excited? Well, Guy Grossi would get quite upset that you've taken. Huh? <laughs> that you guys he likes are having twins. a doppelganger. <laughs> no. What do you call them? Double, a double danger. Double dangers. <laughs> have a look at this guy. He's got a double danger. <laughs> Oh, my God. Uh, there we are. I think, you know, he hasn't changed those piercing eyes and he hasn't changed his level so of talent hard. out there on the stage. It's just a haircut, guys. He's going through a phase. So today on the podcast, Harry Styles haircut. Discuss. Discuss. <laughs> the Fitzy and Whipper with Kate Ritchie podcast. I've got some really sad news on oh Snoop Dogg, no. everybody. What's happened? What's happened? Instagram uh, post has just come out. Snoop's just told everyone, after much consideration and conversation with my family, I've decided to give up smoke. Please respect my privacy at this time. <laughs> it's, like, it's like somebody's died. To oh, please, re- have. please respect my privacy at this time. Well, he's not going to be feeling great no. for a while. There's going to be some level of withdrawals. I mean, you talk about it like a death. I mean, for uh, Snoop, I would imagine it's his closest friend. Well, it's his one friend. love, isn't it? One true love. I mean, that would oh. shut down Puff Puff Past Tuesdays, well, which he used to do. I wonder if... Uh, what about... Remember when my mum made him some cookies? Mm. And he left mum... This is without... My mum's Claire. He, yeah. he called her Claire Fizzle. Loved Claire Fizzle. Mm. Mum made him some cookies and he left this message. Claire Fizzle, it's your nephew, Snoopy Deagle Double Jizzle. I love you for the batch of cookies. So, in giving up... <laughs> oh, I would love to get a message like that from Snoop. Yeah. In giving up the smoke, does that mean he's giving up the cookies? Well, this is the thing. I don't know. Oh, maybe. Yeah, maybe that's not the way he's deciding to ingest. Mm. Or, I mean, or it's just, just, it, it would be hard. You're right. Waking up every day and not not packing, not packing another one. It, um, if it you've would, done it for how many well, years? Is, how yeah, old is it? Yeah. It's your routine. He's in his 60s? Well, he's, he's in his 60s. We were saying, though, he would be waking up after. Because, you know, after after a couple of doobies, that would lead to a couple of whiskies, and then you'd wake up. And yeah. in your 60s, you just you can't do it anymore. Did he ring Claire Fizzle to, before? No, Making the no. Mum, this well, morning? Mum rang me crying last Did night she? when she saw the Instagram yeah. post. and said, Snoop's changing. Snoop's no, changing, right. man. She's no, given no, up the cookies. She's not. Make them, no, she's not making them anymore. She'll never give up the cookies. Are they special cookies? Yeah. Mm. Oh. Where are you this weekend? Do you? What are you in Byron, mean? aren't you? No. No. I don't know what you're talking about. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. What if you could book your hotel now and choose to pay when you get there? With thousands of flexible booking options in select stays, you're only a what if away from your next holiday. Book on the What If app. What if it's Aussie for travel? This is exciting, Kate, because you went into shock in the office yesterday. Are you all right today? I wasn't in shock. You're in absolute shock. I was so pleased. It's not often that something happens out there in the entertainment world that makes me happy. Okay. Um, I have to start this story. <laughs> With a comment from the article I was reading, um, and the article finishes with, Styles, as in Harry, mm. is yet to publicly comment on his new haircut. It's a haircut. Now, get involved, people. It's a haircut. I know, no, it's not just a haircut. It's a brand, guys. It's a whole look. It's what he's styled himself on and, and, and what has made him just so cute and lovable by millions of people out there and he's just shaved his head and we were going to gloss over it this week but the chit chat around the office about whether you like the haircut whether you can't even look at him anymore I mean there was a group text with people I think Vaya said something about it's the worst day of her life that Harry has shaved his (laughs) head have a guess what the Maily Dale headline was have Um, one guess um, Uh, lonely no um, no it's um, it's your basic one who Harry Styles doesn't look like this anymore. Oh, yes. Oh. 
<laughs> and it's an old photo of Harry. The yeah. classic clickbait. Harry Styles doesn't look like this anymore. No Click way. on this to see what he looks like now. Look, it's just a buzz cut. No doubt you would have seen the, the photos floating around yeah. this week. There was a the first time we saw it and everyone was panicked was a fan took a photo of him at some concert. Yep. It was from the side. It looked a whole lot shorter than I think it actually is. They posted it to, to Twitter and the world went mad. Well, okay, <laughs> over the years, who's done it best? Beckham did it and and it worked. Brad Pitt did it in Fight Club, and oh my gosh, he in Fight Club oh, is unbelievable. Pitt at his best. It does make you look a little harder and a little more mean, doesn't it? Yeah. Because so and that's Pitt, what yeah. that's what some some of the comments are. If if you do mm-hmm. have a comment to share with us, thirteen twenty four ten. But there's people saying things like. I, you know, don't talk to me. I'm mourning Harry Styles' hair. I know Harry Styles has the right to do what he wishes with his hair, but, man, I miss those curls. He looked like a rock star Mm. with them. It's a haircut. He had a haircut. I said to you before, Kate, what do you want to do? You've got an option to celebrate 20 years since Shannon Noel was on Australian Idol and What About Me was released, or do you want to talk about Harry's haircut? And you went... We have to talk about Harry's haircut. It's a movement. We do have to talk about Harry's haircut. I have to say, I mean, not that, uh, you know... I'm never going to date Harry Styles, okay? I'll never say never. I've resigned myself to the fact. But the when he cut his hair and I saw him with a shaved head, Mm -hmm. I did think... Oh yeah, he's right up. He's right up my alley with right. the shaved head. Why? I prefer the shaved head. We'll let Harry know. Because Do you know why wh- I think you think that? <laughs> why? Because he looks older with a shaved head, and therefore you can justify it in your mind a bit more. <laughs> oh no, I but don't. But you'll think. be closer to the possibility. He's twenty nine. Yeah, too young for you. God, I don't know. It's... What are you talking about? Let's go to Bianca in uh, in Liverpool. What do you think of Harry's haircut? Get involved. Oh, God. Morning, guys. Hi. I love it. It's a vibe. I think he looks hot. Yeah, he does. Yeah, but you know what? He's sec- he looks sexier now, doesn't he? You could scalp. Oh, you 100%. Could s- you could scalp Harry Styles and he would still look hot, Bianca. Like he, he, oh, it's, yeah. You're I not could looking at his hair, his it's his eyes. Oh, but, yeah. And I, but I think he looks a bit edgier. Actually, we were talking in the song. Bianca, I don't know if you've heard this rumour. <laughs> Isn't there a conspiracy theory that he shaved his head so he can get plugs? Because there was, there's mm. been, always been a rumour that perhaps he wore some kind of... Wig. Hairpiece. Wig. What? I'm yeah. not even joking. Jess said he flicked his yeah, hair back a at a concert. Yeah, there's a video of him on tour that and he's like break. rocking, rocking, rocking and it looks like the hair comes off his scalp a bit. There's... There's oh my big God, rumors Jess. about it, oh, Jess. But you guys know I love a conspiracy theory. Go and have a baby theory. or something. Get, <laughs> make, make your life busier than looking at videos to see if the front of Harry's flare, hair flips. Uh, up. Let's go to Michaela in Mount Annan. What do you think about the hairdo? Hey guys, um, look, I'm not a massive fan, but mm. I don't hate it. He is definitely beautiful with hair or without. <laughs> it was a bit of a shock though. Definitely. Yeah, yeah. Michaela's coming yeah. to terms with it. That's Mich- okay. Take the day off if you sh- need. It was a bit and, of a shock. I couldn't go to work. And with shock, <laughs> your, 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 your heart rate does rise. Yeah, you ring morning. radio stations mm. and you mm. tell everyone how you feel. Olivia and Willoughby, are you a fan of the new cut? Oh, I'm mourning it right now. Why? I think it, uh, I just... I miss the long hair. Yeah. It's what yeah. made him Harry, I think. But he's still gorgeous about what it. But you, his hair didn't make him Harry. He like had, he's a perform. He, there are so many yeah. other wonderful things yeah. about Harry Styles. Are you all right, Olivia? Yeah, but he. With the thing, the first thing I think about is mm. well, a satellite. That's like my favourite. So yeah. true. And then his curls. Yeah. From fetus like Harry, the ex factor days. Okay, so in that order. Do you know what I yeah. think too, Olivia? To consider that that beautiful hair that we all fell in love with probably yeah. sat on a barber's room floor, which could have been, yeah, would have been could have been put into a bag and given to you, Olivia. You could have I know, impaled a I'm, pillow. And... I'm looking on the bright side and hoping we get to relive all the hair years again. Mm, yeah, and yeah. yeah. Olivia's crying. She's crying. I, think well, it's, I, I just think it's so great. Well I done, Harry. Seen and it's, anything it's, better this week? It's not like it's been done before. My God. Oh, look at you. Why you, did you shave your head? Because I was going bald. <laughs> That's why I shaved my head. 
Yeah. He's doing it because you know what? He's too hot and he, he hates the way that everyone looks at him and he's yeah. perfect hair. So he's doing it. It's a statement. He's like, ah, oh, let's let's see if you'll love me with a shaved head. Whereas some people have to do it because their hair's falling out, Harry. You okay, you mate? Piece of- okay, mate. Just settle down. Tom, can you get in touch with Harry? Yeah. Let him know that Kate has declared herself available uh, okay. for... No, I said not available. Some level oh. of contact. Oh, no, what did I say? Did I decide I'll go out with Harry yeah, or not? Yeah, you will. Oh, okay. So we have to let Harry know that Kate's keen okay. to catch okay, up. Nice. Have we confirmed he's not a white supremacist? <laughs> no, 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 we move on from that. We move on from that. <laughs> My God. Okay. The Fitzy and Whipper with Kate Ritchie Podcast. The Shoey. Can we talk about the Shoey? I mean, I've had a love-hate relationship with the Shoey over the years when it first started. And uh, look, I don't mind the the instant sort of gratification you get when someone you know chucks a shoe into your face. Shoe-y. They fill it up with beer Shoe-y. and they come on, you can do it. And then you you do do it. Let's be honest, you don't drink a majority of it. There's a lot of sweat. There's a lot of yeah. um, it stinks. But you know what? You go for it. It's an Australian tradition. Um, bam, bam, to a varsity does it every time he wins a fight in the UFC, has a shoey and yep. has a bit of a laugh. Daniel Ricciardo's the other one that we know that likes to get on the podium for the Formula One and he'll do a shoey. You and I, when we went to see a Danny Green fight, I think, against um, Mundine in Adelaide, fits not far from us with a guy who had a prosthetic leg. He took that off and entertained the crowd by he did a leggy. drinking out of his stump. <laughs> yeah. Um, but he, he, he bowled a leggy. Um, but no, how's this? So the big... Formula One Grand Prix is this weekend in Las Vegas. It's massive. It's going to be huge. They're saying that this is going to turn the Formula One series on its head because yeah, right. we all know what Vegas is all about. It's party. You lose all your life savings. Yep. You, you you leave there just a shell of yourself. Mm-hmm. Um, the Grand Prix, they're saying the amount of people that are, are, are interested in this and the casinos are going to make a lot of money. MGM, um, The MGM resorts yep. have got behind this and in their casino, there will be a shoey bar. Oh. Now, this is the weird thing about it. It's not like you can just, in the bar, just yell out, Shoey, who's going to take your shoe off? No. What they're going to do, they have their own MGM-branded driving shoe that you order from the bar, awesome. and they will fill it up with a cocktail. They'll put the little umbrella at the top, and it's lined on the inside whip. So it's an actual... You use the shoe as a glass, and you can just drink out of the well, shoe. I've seen footage from Matt DeGroote when he hosts dinner parties at his place. <laughs> he has the glass Daniel Ricardo shoe. Oh, yeah, yes. the, the decanter. Yes. The decanter. How, how much? <laughs> well, it's like eight hundred no, dollars, didn't we? Yeah, it uh, look, it doesn't decant in the traditional sense because obviously a decant is supposed to remove the uh, oxygen from the wine, whereas this is just a giant bucket of wine yeah. in yep. a shoe. And when you're trying to present sort of a classier dinner presentation at the house, and then you give people wine in a giant glass boot, <laughs> it changes the tone. I remember when we got sent that. Did you get sent the original one, or were you like, I need one of those, Tommy, please, can you get me one? No, I... I so, Dan Ricardo is obviously a wine guy, because yeah. he's got his limited edition That's DR3 right. wine, which is just tremendous, yeah. and he then released the decanter, and as soon as it came out, I contacted <laughs> the good people at the company that made it and said, get me a shoe. <laughs> get me a shoe now. And I don't know if there are a lot of people who <laughs> are requesting that shoe. Turned out it's sold out, yeah. and it's now you a did. priceless artefact, and Collectors if you want it, edition. you can get stuff now. Um, Fitz, great. do you have... Do you feel sometimes when someone yells out shoe and you did one not long ago at a maths dinner party that we organised. No, I didn't do it. Did Al, I do Al, it? Did oh, it. Al did it. But do you know what was interesting? I feel like the shoey has become the evolution of Ozzy, Ozzy, Ozzy! Yeah, I know. Because when you hear <laughs> that know. now, it's kind of up there with someone yelling out, Taxi! I know. It's, it's um, kind of, you don't want to join in on the oi, oi, oi. And now when you hear shoe, oi, Well, shoo, I tell you, oi, shoo, well, oi. if you go to Vegas, the MGM Grand, you can go to the shoey bar. You can mm-hmm. get a proper <laughs> MGM shoe. And you will be you'll be the drinking king. it right there in front of the, everybody. The king of Vegas. Good luck, everybody. The Fitzy and Whipper with Kate Ritchie Podcast. Taking your calls, whatever you want to talk about right now, get involved. Mariam from Balgala, what did you want to talk about this morning? I just want to talk, to, uh, talk about the concert last night, Robbie Williams' concert last night. Oh, oh did, you went along, God. did you? What did he start with, Mariam? Oh, my God, I can't remember. Yeah. I can't remember, sorry. Uh, He's got to start with... Ab- <laughs> Let me entertain you, doesn't it? Fant- yeah, 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 yeah. It was absolutely fantastic. 
And if you haven't watched the documentary, you've got to watch the documentary and you've got to get yourself out there, Conan Stan. He is a true entertainer. It's brilliant, um, brilliant. He was a bit of a prick of a kid, wasn't he? Like, when, when he first started in... And, and he um, he even admits that himself, doesn't he, Marion, when he started yeah, with yeah. Take That? Yeah, he talked all about that. He talked... I mean, it was quite moving at times. And um, but he really took you on the journey, his journey. Yeah, it was so, it was so good. It's, and ama- then, it's amazing, so- Mariam. A, a guy who can be on the stage by himself, and how he's the ultimate performer, isn't he? Yeah, I mean the stage, but the girls behind him dancing were brilliant. But then at the end, he actually sang without any without any backing at all. So. Yeah. He just, I mean, it, yeah, he's an absolute Mary, entertainer. Mariam, I went to see him last time he was here. What surprised me was some of Robbie's old ways and antics were still present, not so much from Robbie, but the crowd. Did you see anybody last night um, lift up their top, as you might say, Mariam? Um, probably less of that. Yeah, I was yeah. in the mosh pit. I was right in the front. And, my God, we were right, we were close to the guys that... Um, Proposed to the um, oh, proposed, right. proposed to his girlfriend. So I mean, that was uh, that was great to oh, be behind Mar- him there. Mariam, it's just I, I just love this. So, what, what? Where was that? Um where was the... Uh, Nebworth. The Nebworth. It was Nebworth. Yeah. Did you... Um, have you seen Gastonbury. that? Glastonbury. Yeah. Glastonbury. No, okay. it, Glastonbury. No, he did do Nebworth, though. You know, the... the Live the, at Nebworth was yeah, the DVD li- that yeah, was released. Right. Which was, I think, was... I think 500,000 people over two nights? Yeah, or was that couple Oasis? Of, couple of nights. Over three nights. Oh, when he was with Oasis? No, 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 no. He, he performed at Nebworth, and there's a there's a famous DVD that's out, Mariam, of it. Yeah, and it's amazing. There's five... 500,000 people went to it over two nights, which is 250,000. I think it's the... Uh, uh, with Oasis, it's mm. the highest Massive crowd numbers crowd. at one gig. Tommy, can we play Angels today on the show? Oh, can we squeeze wanna, that do in? Do you want to play it next? Yeah, I do, actually. Okay. i really got a feel for it. Yeah. Love Angels. All right, let's do that. Thanks, Miriam. Ma- Nicole and Collaroy, what do you want to talk about, Nick? Morning, team. I, um, I have a girls' lunch tomorrow. Okay. And to spice it up a bit... I wondered if Whipper, the Whipster, could read an excerpt from <laughs> the far too personal trainer. Great call. Oh, uh, great call, Nicole. That's, that's, uh, <laughs> this is a great call. That's heating well, things up is, a little bit. This is your audience right there. That's a girl's lunch. That's your audience. How many girls at the lunch, Nick? Uh, ten. It's Mexican-inspired, so the margaritas will be flowing. Oh, my God. How many and margaritas will you have? Oh. <laughs> oh, Tacos <several>. out? <laughs> It, it could get very spicy. We just thought we could spice it up a bit. Nick, and, um, I'd love to be there. Give me the time and place. Um, we're in with a shot for sure. I just don't know if you and your oh. girls would be ready. It's really quite spicy, this book, The Far Too Personal oh, Trainer. We've, I've a great group of friends. They've been very amazing support for me. I've been through a tough time. So um, they will be up for anything. We are we are more than keen. My yeah, um, yeah. my sisters are a very big fan of yours, Whipper. So we both oh. are. But Nicole, who's She's a bit loose? Tell it. Who's the who's the <laughs> who's the loosest one in that group? Give us a name. Who would be the one that you'd have to keep an eye on? It's you. Oh, it's you. It's the Carl. That's well, what that's she's exciting. Us. Okay, well, I'll work out the right um, sort of passage that I could read. Maybe yeah. something from the intimate scene on the super yacht, or maybe maybe in the Sick. in the um, Bellevue Hill mansion that he goes back to one that's, time. That's gross. Um, oh, fantastic. Oh. Yeah, something water-based. But, um, yeah, something yeah, water-based. We, we water-based. just want to see if we could peel back that layer with her of the... What? The um, amazing family man and yep. get down to the, the nitty-gritty of it. <laughs> I might turn up as the <laughs> personal <laughs> trainer if you're not, oh. if you're not careful, Nicky, oh, and I should chat off air. <laughs> Absolutely. Okay. Sombrero. Okay. Sombrero. Okay. Let, let's I'll, mo- I'll need two. Let's move on to <laughs> Matt in Penrith. What do you want to talk about, Matt? Oh, look, we've got some drizzly <laughs> weather going on out here this morning. I was just wondering, as Matt DeGruppe getting his practice in 40s about to endure the wonder of weather? Oh, oh, really good question. Yes. That's a, yeah, we have had a bit of rain over overnight. MDG, is that the one thing that you are 
I, is that the thing you're nervous about the most, is the, the weather over in London? No, I would say it's the absence of daylight hours. Yes. It's, you know, going yes. to work at, it's, what, dark until 10.30 in the morning, and yeah. then it goes, what, the sun goes down at 3 p.m.? It's, it's horrible. That makes no sense it, to my brain. It, it, yeah, it does it, it does freak you out. And when it's frozen, can we just Matt, go? You, you Matt, 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 Matty, are you I, a heavy breather? Oh, yeah, absolutely heavy breathing. They've been punched in the face a couple of times and broken nose. You, know, those you can't tell. How, how you many can't t- tell, Matt. How many times have you broken your nose, Matty? Oh, probably, probably more than I can count on fingers and toes. But... Hey, Matty, you've, you've been to see a doctor yet? I mean, you've called the show before, and I always ask you to hold one side of your nostril and blow out of the other. But I don't no, think it's no, going to help. Right. I'm, still, I'm still going to be able to breathe out of it. It's like, the, it's like they say with your arms. I've still got one left. So, <laughs> so true, Maddie, mate. Maddie, so you, you true. know there's an operation you can get to to straighten your your nasal, and then you can get that sorted out. Yeah, I'll get around to that when I stop picking fights. It probably seems like a bit of a waste of time down at that time. <laughs> hey, guys, well, just, just quickly, I just want to quickly say about the group because I never got a chance to call through when he announced that he was leaving the show. Yeah. Mate, you've come an absolute long way from being the assistant to the 2IC of the Gladiator Running Club, and I wish you all the best. <laughs> <laughs> but, but just remember this, mate, when you go to London, there won't be any more getting run down by a whipper on a push bike while you're running around Hyde Park. Yeah, yeah. And you won't, true. you won't have to listen to the five, the five diet or uh, how he's gone down to 95.2 rounded down to 95 kilos. Uh, <laughs> he's going to have Matty the group. Thank well, you, mate. Well, one, of the, one of the great farewell slash sledges yes, of a yes. member of the show I've heard. That Outstanding. Is well, from one Matt to another <laughs> and for that, Matt, I'm giving you a family pass to Raging Waters, Matty. That's all yours. <laughs> You can go down one of those rods and break your nose again. Slide into summer at Raging Waters, Sydney, New South Wales' largest water park, now open 10 minutes from Parramatta. The Fitzy and Whipper with Kate Ritchie podcast. All right, a riddle time, guys. Get ready to play along. You can have a crack if you want. 13, 20, 10. Don't be a bloody stranger. Uh, here we go. Easy one. Easy, easy, easy one. Kate Ritchie takes a deep breath. Fitzy falls asleep. I am a word of letters three. Add two letters and fewer there will be. What word am I? Oh, I know. Um... Say it again. Thank you for the opportunity to share. share. I am a word of letters three. Add two letters and fewer there will be. What word am I? Is it the word... Oh, oh, perhaps yeah. few? Yes, it is, Tom. Oh, Spot on. Just a little you add E-R. E-R. We've so got fewer. fewer. Good. Yeah, fewer. Add two that's letters and fewer good. there will be. Is that just a practice good. round? Or You're not happy with that one? Good, good get, Tom. Are you into hey, that? Thanks. Uh, okay, what about this one, guys? What has legs but cannot walk, run or jump? <laughs> legs. An idea. A bed. No. A cupboard. No. Nope. A thought. No. Nope. A chest of drawers. No. What has legs, legs but it a can't chair. run? No. A chair, yeah, a chair has legs, but it yeah, can't run. A barbecue run. chair. It's great answer. answer. That's a great a answer. Bench, answer. A bench. A park that. bench. No, not a park bench and not a chair. Say a ca- it again. A couch. Oh. I have legs but cannot walk, run or jump. <laughs> Pin- a pinball machine. <laughs> Is it you? Why are you laughing? Is it you? <laughs> because it's kind of all of them, but not the answer. Furniture. <laughs> What's the answer you got? Oh. Probably the answer. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to give it to Kate Ritchie for rounding it out with furniture. But what was the official? It's a table. <laughs> Oh, oh, my God. oh my gosh. What a crap riddle. Sorry, everybody. Oh, Sorry. Did you write that no one, way. Jess? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> All right, what about this? So much fun. This is clever. Oh. A dog does this, a person wears this. What on earth is this? Bark. Bark. No. No, uh, 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 the dog what? Wolf. 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 Sorry, mate. Wolf. 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 A dog does this, a person wears this. What on earth is it? Okay. Growl. Growl. Hmm? What? Sorry, mate. Um, <laughs> sniff. Munch. Um, are we in the area? A lead? Is it a noise? I don't want to hear Kate Ritchie leash. laugh like that again. No. Oh, that wasn't me. No, a dog does it leash, does it? Well, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> 
Um, I didn't think you were listening to me. Yeah, no. <laughs> a dog Actually, does no. this. A person wears this. What on earth is this? It's the on earth is obviously something. No, it's not. Oh, okay. Is it a sit? Is no. It a- Stay. What, what items? Of, if you go through the items of clothing, you'll find yourself at the answer. A shoe, jacket, no. sock, coat, no, hat, shoe. jumper, no, sunglasses, no, sandal, no, leash, jeans, shorts, no, pants. pants. Oh yeah! Oh, a dog pants. Humans wear them. <laughs> Very good. Kate yelled out the answer and didn't know she had the answer. <laughs> oh my God, Mandy and Mascot. You're still alive. Hello, Morning, Mandy. how are we? Uh, Pretty right. good, Mandy. Awful. Good. <laughs> Been tough a to bit quirky this morning because I went to see Robbie Williams last night, so I apologise. Oh, oh. How, how was he, Mandy? Give us one word to sum up the gig. Amazing. Yeah, well Amazing. Set, well you set. wouldn't be afraid of having a couple of quiet drinks with the Robbie, would you, Mandy? And more. <laughs> <laughs> more Mandy. He's a bit he wouldn't naughty, get out of there, Mandy. <laughs> right. I do not eat food, but I enjoy a light meal every day. What am I? I do not eat food, but I enjoy a light meal every day. Correct. What am I? That's a good riddle. Oh, That's a really good riddle. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Good. You should probably take it over. I don't eat. Better than a table. Do not eat food, but I enjoy a light meal. Is it just a room? I said that out loud. A light meal. Is it like a room with a light on? Oh, yeah. a light. Yes. No. no. Is it something to do with light? That's part of the clue. Light. Yes. Sunshine? Oh. No. No. Meal. Light, light meal. meal. Light meal. What eats sunshine? Aeroplane? No. <laughs> Oh, Vitamin Mandy, D. it's not perhaps a plant, is it? Tom Harvey! No. Oh. Oh. Because they eat light. Yeah? Well That's done. it, Tom. Getting riddled with a prize. Oh, in the pool. Really good, Mandy. Well done. Bye. Bye, Mandy. The Fitzy and Whipper with Kate Ritchie Podcast. Let's talk about this, guys. Um, on a very wet Friday, if you're feeling a little bit lonely, never, ever, ever give up on love. This woman went on 164 dates in two years before she finally found her husband. She did it. It was good. She put an ad. She put an ad out saying, I am in my 30s. I've been in long-term relationships uh, in my 20s, but now I'm prepared to do what it takes to find the right man. Over two years, she went on 164 dates. Gosh. When you get sick of that. Mm. Oh, oh my God. God! Wouldn't you just like Back me out for dinner tonight? After a tough day at work, and you're on your 87th date. Yeah. Oh man, I could not think oh. of anything worse. I'm meeting Shane tonight at 7:30 oh. at the local. My gosh! And I don't even. Cr- yeah. Cronides, he's picked Cronides. Oh. God, I've already eaten there I mean, eight times. How much have you spent? I mean, your weekly bill trying to keep up to speed with these dates would be astronomical. And then just the the conversation starters. Oh. Oh, it's a fair bit going around in the world at the moment, isn't oh, there? a fair bit happening. Bit of heat on the place. Oh, yeah. yeah. How's your day? You into the cricket? Yeah, Aussies what? are through to the final yeah. against India. That'll be a good win. They haven't lost a game, India. You want chips? All right, I've got to get going. <laughs> <laughs> she said body language is a big part of it for her. She said if someone would slouch back in their chair, she wasn't interested. If they were too keen and almost yelling in my face, I wasn't interested. Yep. Important to smile and actively listen. She said some of the some of the dates didn't go to plan, Fitz, yep. and they were the shortest of the dates. She didn't stuff around if it wasn't going to plan. She got out of there. Thanks very much for turning up. I don't see this going any further. Did she ever go back on another date with that people, or she was just no. trying to get through no. as many as she could? How many dates again? Sorry, 164. But... That's ridiculous. That's got to be a record. Hang on a minute. She went on second dates with 30% of the men. I wonder how many of those... That had faded. I wonder 160 of those dates, I wonder how many she had to contribute to and put in I'll some money for. for. Here's the interesting thing, too. She kissed out of the 164. She hooked up with 48 of them. Oh, that's so not she's bad. got a bit of a strike rate there. Eh? So oh, what, are, what are we talking there? That's that's 25%. You're mm-hmm. talking every one in four blokes you're going to play a bit of tonsil hockey with. Sunday was her most common day for the dates. And she did her best work on a Sunday. 
What did we say was the best day? Wednesday. You wasn't always it? say Wednesday. No, no, no. There I was say an art- Thursday. There was an article written about it. Wednesday's the best night for dates. No, that doesn't make sense. Because there's not as many people out. You can get into anywhere that you want. Sometimes she would do four dates a week. Tommy, remember when we first got into radio? I did. A, I was single at the time, and I did oh, like twenty yeah. dates in twenty it was nights. Forty or... dates in forty nights. Yeah, oh, and it sort of yeah. finished when I decided to invite the girl out for a second date. That's when we knocked it on the head. Yeah. It was a bit of a mess, mate. Trying That's... to do forty dates in breakfast radio. I was. Oh. I think that was. Um... You were more keen on the free food that you were getting from Nova and the budget. Well, we did a deal with a hotel, so I would just go back and order the same thing every night. Pete, repeat, different girl. At one stage, I went to the bathroom and... Um, had eat, a bit of a, sleep, eat, repeat. I had a bit of a funny <laughs> tummy, unfortunately, on one of the dates and uh, popped into the gents and uh, I fell asleep. I fell asleep on the toilet. Oh. Um, so she thought I'd gone missing. I think, Tom, you may have raced in to see yeah. if I was okay. Yeah, to help out. Um, you were okay. You were just very, very tired. You hooked up with the toilet, um, I think. <laughs> went back for a second <laughs> date. Well, the weird thing was, too, the guy who <laughs> was working in production at the time, he got the phone number of every girl that came in. If he's not locked up, Tom, whatever the name of that bloke was. Yeah, I think it was Darren. He, was Darren. Um, he, if he's yeah. not locked up and in Silverwater, then... Because these, uh, these people would come in and record a vignette. Uh, you know, which is a short, you know, a short Ooh, piece of great audio. radio term. Thank isn't you. It? So, I did think it might be French. <laughs> What's your favourite drop of vignette? <laughs> mm-hmm. um, and um, and he would so mm. they'd record, you know, th- 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 spend a minute pouring their soul out, and then buddy Darren would pop in and go, yeah. oh, yeah. if it doesn't work out with Whopper, Whip- oh, go, oh, is that's it? right. Yeah, if it doesn't work out, here's my number. Mm. Oh, and then he'd come to me and go, it's well, not I don't bad. know, don't know if tonight's going to work out for you. <laughs> Well, and if, if they've been on a date with you, the likelihood of them looking for someone else what? is quite high. In Darren. <laughs> Darren. Darren. Darren, Darren was, in the sound booth. It was the longest streak Darren ever went on. <laughs> Darren's just picking up the crumbs. Fitzy and Whipper with Kate Ritchie is a Nova podcast. For more great comedy shows like this, head to novapodcast.com.au.